it was a fun, fun class. We enjoyed them. We were the only class at Duke that had to wear coats and ties. Laddie recruited us. We were his boys. That's what he called us, Laddie's boys. And we were not allowed to come in a classroom unless we had on a coat and tie. And it was a little bit sticky feeling because the class above us didn't have to wear coats and ties and they relaxed the rule the next year and the class behind us didn't have to wear coats and ties but the class of 1961 had to wear coats and ties to every every class we attended and it was very formal you know we stood up to recite and couldn't look at your notes and all that kind of stuff or if you did you'd had to peek at them you supposed to have eye contact with the professor but in any event, it was, a, it was a fun time. We had a great class, a uh, good bunch. I was the only person in my class that went to practice in a small town. I went to Henderson, North Carolina, where my family had practiced for, well, uh, they'd been there for 65 years before I got there. And then I would say I've been there for another 50. As a matter of fact, they'd been there for 80 years before I'd been there, because 130 years that we all told in that law, law office there. But Dean Laddie got very upset that I was wasting my talents going to a small town. He tried his best to get me jobs clerking for Supreme Courts. He tried to tempt me with all kinds of offers and I did not want to go. I figured if I ever went to a large city, I'd never want to come back to a small town. And the experience you get in a large city isn't really gonna help you. It ain't gonna impress the people in a small town. They, they look for I don't know their own attributes and how much degrees you, how many degrees you have, or, or who you may have done business for is immaterial to them. Uh, I did have some lucky experiences. I represented H. J. Hines in a national case that took me all over the United States, from California to, to New Jersey to Rochester, New York, down south, on depositions. I tried mal medical malpractice cases in Atlanta uh, before a very distinguished panel of of judges and jurors, and I had a great experience from a small town, but Dean Laddie did not like that. He thought I ought to go to a law firm that he could send later recruits into and I could help them get placed or something. I don't know.